So coming up from the ghost house, coming like this. So here again, you can see that my layer 1 tiles and my layer 2 don't quite match up the way I want them to, because I want Mario to be walking here and then climbing there. So um, I'm going to have to make some adjustments at some point, which is okay. So we're going to go over to the right, like this. Let's grab this one. Oops. There we go, diagonals. Yeah, sometimes, you, again, you have to piece them together little by little. There he is, his partner in crime right there. Grab this one. And as you get more familiar with, with uh, the tiles that exist, you'll be able to pick out very easily which ones you need just sort of by looking. So here we go. Climbing down this way. And there. Okay, very good. And over here in the Valley of Bowser, we're all good. And we can get rid of that. Okay, very nice. So we have paths down. Let's save it. And take those away. Okay, good. So we have our paths. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign level numbers to each of these things here. So before I do that, let me go ahead and show you in Lunar Magic here. Open level number one. So I have some short levels, level one, level two, level three has two exits, level four, level five, this just goes to Iggy, and level six is a Switch Palace. So that's what I have. And so what I'm going to do is I'm still in layer one editor mode. I'm going to highlight Yoshi's house. So there's a button up here. It's a yellow level tile. We're going to press on that. And this gives you the level tile settings dialog box. So we're going to give it a level number. Yoshi's house is level 104. So let's do level 104. Now the next box here, it says event to activate when above level is passed. Well, you never really pass Yoshi's house because there's no uh, exit gate or goal sphere or anything like that. It already has pads enabled off of it, usually. So we're not going to select an event and we're not going to deal with any of these other things down here. What we're going to do though is in initial level settings flags, I'm going to say enable right. So these four options, enable up, down, left, and right, what those are, it says that when the game loads, the path coming off of that level in that direction is already enabled so you can already walk on it without having to do anything so I'm gonna say enable right and there are some other options down here like level has been passed midway point obtained no entry if level passed and save prompt so if I were to check here uh, like this then whenever the player passes that level it'll force a save prompt so I'm not gonna do that but it's there so we say OK so I'm gonna go over to the next level over here we're going to make it level number one. And for right now, I'm actually not going to do any of the events or um, directions to enable when the exits are passed. Right now, I'm just going to enable them. I'm just going to enable all the paths. So I'm going to enable down, say OK. I'm going to go over to this one. I'm going to say level two, enable right. Okay, so all I'm really doing is I'm making it so that I don't have to play anything in order to walk on the, the overworld. So this one's going to have enable up and enable right because this one had two exits, one going up, one going to the right. Switch Palace is level six, so let me come back. Now you don't have to have uh, you don't have to have these in any particular order. I'm just doing them in sequential order for the sake of demonstration purposes. This could be level 104, and this could be level, you know, uh, 20, and this could be 115, and this one can be 14. It doesn't matter. I mean, they, they could be in any order. Let's see. So the castle was number 5. So level 5. This one will be enabled up so that we can go to Bowser's castle. And the Switch Palace was level 6. Now, we're not going to go anywhere after the Switch Palace. It's sort of a dead end, so I'm not going to enable anything and say OK, and save. Now if you go up to View, you can say uh, Show Level Numbers, or alternatively you can just press F1, and what will happen is a little box appears next to each 
uh, level tile showing you what level number it has. So one, two, three, four, castle is five, switch palace is six. So there you go. So let me see our paths again. Yeah. So the other thing we have here on the overworld is this pipe here, which I want to have go to this pipe down here. So we're going to link the pipes. So I'm going to highlight this pipe. And this process is the same process you use for stars also. So I'm going to click on this pipe tile up here. And there are two settings here, exit index to use, destination exit index. So the first one is sort of a label for this, for this exact pipe. So I'm going to select 00 overworld map. And then I'm going to say OK. I've only, I've only changed that first option. You'll see why in a second. I'm going to go down to the other pipe down here in Valley of Bowser. Click on the pipe tile. I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to choose 09 Bowser's Valley. And now when I say destination exit index, I'm going to choose whatever one I used for the first pipe, which was 00. And I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to go back to the first pipe. And now I'm going to change that second setting to 09. Bowser's Valley and say OK. And save. So what did I do? Well, I gave this pipe up here in the overworld, the main overworld, uh, settings of 00 and 09. The one down here has the reverse settings, 0900. So now these pipes are linked. When I go down this pipe, it'll take me back, it'll take me to this pipe and vice versa. So I think now we can save and we can go into our emulator and test it out. Actually, no, we can't. There's one more thing we got to do. I'm going to go to sprite editor mode and I'm going to grab the Mario sprite and put him over here where I want him to start, which is on this Yoshi's house here, because otherwise he'll start down there. So I almost forgot that and that would have been uh, very silly of me. So there we go. Save now. And so I'm going to be right back with ZSNES open, and we're going to just walk on the overworld. All right, so we are going to test our overworld for the first time. So we can just sort of skip through all this stuff. Let's erase that just for good measure. OK. So this is all the same because we haven't done anything to that. Aha! Very nice. So because the paths are enabled, because the path is enabled rather, I can walk to this level without having doing anything. Now I did the same thing for all the levels, so I can walk all of them. I don't have to play anything. So that's exactly what I wanted to do. I just wanted to test everything, make sure the paths are there and aren't glitchy. See, there's the climbing animation. And on the way down, same thing. Down to the pipe. So now we're going to press on the pipe, and it takes us to Valley of Bowser. And we go up, and we go up. So there we have it. Uh, first test was a, success, was a success. Everything works thus far. So when I get back, I'm going to start working on uh, the other event, sorry, the other level settings and placing events so that when you beat a level, pathways start to appear. So I'll see you in part four in just a little bit.